This is a quick video on a very common question I see in the forums or on Discord, and that is, how do you detect which tile you hit when you collide with a tile map? All right, so I've got a pretty common setup here where we have a tile map and a kinematic character that can move and jump. And we want to detect what tile we're colliding with when we jump around or run into walls. And so we can see here that the player is in tile number nine comma four. That's this tile right here. But I want to detect what tile it collided with, which is going to be this one, nine five, when I jump. And in when I run into a wall and I'm in position three five, I want to detect that I ran into two five. Now where people run into trouble is when you are using a tile map and you get a collision, it's just going to say you collided with the tile map. And so you're going to have to use your character's position and the normal of the tile map where you collided with it to figure out what tile you've collided with. So for this setup, in my character script, I'm going to have the player emit, when it has a collision, the collision object. And this is a kinematic collision 2D. And a kinematic collision 2D contains information about what the object you collided with was and the normal where you collided with it. And so that's going to be the information we need. So we admit that kinematic collision so that nothing in my player really ties in or even knows that there's a tile map. I'm just going to admit the collision and let the tile map script deal with what happens. So let's go over to the tile map script. And so I connect to that signal, and now I'm going to receive that collision. And if the thing I collided with was a tile map, then I can figure out where I am. And the character's position we can find using world to map. So this tells us what tile the player is standing in. To find out which tile I collided with, I want to subtract the normal. Why am I subtracting the normal? That's because when I collide with this tile, the normal is pointing up. It's, one, it's 0, comma, negative 1, right? It's a vector pointing up. So if I subtract from this tile, subtract that from this tile, then I'll be going down and I'll be finding this tile. And so we get the tile at that position. And if it's greater than 0, we're just going to move down by one tile. And that's because my tile map just has a whole bunch of numbered tiles. So if we have the 15, we're going to subtract one, we'll be changing it to number 14. Now let's see that in action. So there we are. Every time I jump, I'm subtracting one from the tile. Now because we're subtracting the normal, that means when I hit a wall, the normal will be pointing this way. So we will subtract one tile over. And you'll see as I run along, as I'm sliding along the ground, I'm generating a bunch of collisions. And when I hit the wall, I do over there as well. So this is a really useful trick to detect, for example, when you jump up and hit a block above you, or when you want to have um, any kind of tiles that react to the player hitting it. So that's a kinematic body. What if we have a rigid body instead? So I've made this ball rigid body object, and I've set its collision uh, context reported to 1 so that it will report contacts. You have to do that on rigid body. And then in its script, in the integrate forces callback is where you're going to get a variable containing the current physics state for the current frame. And that state is going to tell you how many contacts you have. So we're going to loop through those, and we're going to get the object we collided with, we're going to get the position where we collided, and we're going to get the normal where we collided. And we're going to emit that in a signal, just like we did with the kinematic collision. So let's go over to our main scene, and we're going to instance a ball in there, and we're going to connect that collided signal. And here's what we're going to do with it. So we're going to take that position minus the normal, convert that to world to map, and then do the exact same thing with the tiles that we did when we had a collision with the kinematic character. So let's go over here to our 2D mode and let's put the ball somewhere where it'll bounce. 
and now you can see we're, re we're reducing the number whenever we collide with one of these tiles. So that's it for this quick uh, one-off demo. Hopefully this helps you in working with tile collisions in your project. Please leave your questions and comments below, suggestions for other uh, quickie videos like this. I'd like to do some more of these for some of the common questions that we see in the uh, forums and on the Discord. Thanks for watching.